Okay, guys, so now applying ingredient mesh to the circle, right? We got our circle, blended shape, blended shape is masked. Now would be a good time to apply the gradient mesh to the circle because now you can kind of think about, you know, how is the light hitting on the blended shape? How might the colors on the sphere look best? So select the sphere. Probably it's nestled in with your gradient tool. If not, again, you'll need to go to your three dots down here and find the mesh tool. We'll click on the mesh tool and then you're just going to click inside your, you wait till it kind of shows the little plus icon in the grid there for gradient mesh and add a, add a few points here. You won't need to do a lot to begin with. Um, so I think I'll just do that. And then once you've thrown down those dots, you're going to need to go to your direct selection tool and um, you're going to now need to click on those individual anchors. The little anchor points down here, these little white. Click on one of those. And uh, oh, I don't you want to make sure that you're, you're not selecting any part of the, there we go, of your blended shape. And this is, this is actually because Illustrator is so frustrating with that sometimes. It might actually be beneficial if you place the sphere, at least to begin with, on its own whole layer. So if I command X, create a new layer, I can just lock that layer. And here on my new layer, command F, there. Now, I'll lock all the other layers. I'm not sure what that sphere, that, that blended shape's on. So now, I don't have to worry about accidentally going over that gradient or that blended shape. I can only apply my colors here to my sphere that I want. So let's go ahead and do that. My direct selection tool, click there, hold shift to select multiple anchor points. And uh, I'll just go ahead and grab maybe that color there there we go so some there and um, I'll go ahead and do doesn't have to be a whole lot just something that looks cool maybe green there we go a little bit darker green and um, you know, I think for that gradient sphere, that, that might even be enough. Maybe I'll, I might mess around with some more down here or something. Maybe there's some blue down there, purple or something. Yeah. But uh, that's how you apply the gradient mesh. If you end up not liking, click on an anchor point and you can delete it. Go back to my gradient mesh, all right, you can always add more anchor points. We'll go ahead and delete that one. And um, there we go. That's how to do your gradient mesh. It's basically just clicking and adding them. And then using your direct selection tool clicking on as many of those anchor points as you want to add a color to. You could also use your lasso tool. Select a group of them. Just draw over the ones you want selected. Selects those. And then add a color to it that way. Alright. That is all.